Hi, this is Donnie, and you suck at RPG Maker XP. Anyways, just kidding, just wanted to add some humor. Um, okay, actually this is Kristen, and hopefully you rock it. RPG Maker XP. But anyways, this is a little tutorial to help you make those homes, those tricky little homes. Okay, so the first part of the tutorial is to click on Start and open RPG Maker XP wherever you have it. And and since I have Vista, I have to allow it onto my computer. Just stupid because I use it like every day. If you if you're ever thinking of buying Vista, I would suggest not to do it because it's just way too new. Once once it's been out for a couple of years, then it it'll probably be good. If you're paying attention to my little video there, you can see a little glimpse of my town in the game that I'm trying to make at the moment. But anyways, what I'm doing right here right now is just selecting a map just to show you guys, you know, how to drop down and select it. But if you guys are wondering how to make houses, you you probably already know a little bit, you know, the basics. And personally, my favorite one to use is the forest town just because, yeah, I, I like the little wooden cabins and especially for the game that I'm making right now, it's it probably fits, fits the personality best, so just choose whichever one fits your town's personality or the game's personality. Okay, now for the layers, okay, layer one is, you know, grass, like the bottom, you know, like the floor, the carpet, whatever. And then the second layer is like the houses, the tables, the decoration, the walls. Um, third layer is putting stuff on top of those is like windows, doors, well not doors, um, you know, like the farming materials, cups, saucers on a table, pretty basic, pretty easy. You'll get used to it really fast. Okay, now what I'm doing in this next part is just copy and pasting the house that's already made. I know a lot of people usually say, don't use it because it's going to be boring. But what you're going to do right now it makes it really easy. You just copy and paste it and then you just add another house to it using the side icons. And it'll take a while to get used to it because, you know, the little icons on the side can be really confusing with the shades and all that. But once you experiment a little bit, you'll get in the hang of it. It only took me about like a couple, like 20, 30 minutes to get the hang of it. And when doing this process of adding the other house to the original house, you're you're gonna want to use like the second and third layer, but be careful when using the third layer because when you use the third layer, you won't be able to put windows on that area. Or if you are, or or if you do use it and you want to put another window on it, you're gonna have to make the window an event, and that's just a pain to do. And then you have cluttered events everywhere. It just it's not fun like that. <laughs> Now is my favorite part, making the house personal. You add the windows, you add little flowers, you add the windows, I already said windows, and the chimney and all that good stuff. And then once you really get into it, you start adding the outside farming, gardening, little scarecrow man, the fence, the walkway, and then you make an event to add the door and then you know you just put the whole thing together and it looks really good and since this is a tutorial I should probably mention like if you look at the tile set you'll see like the little shoves that you usually put on the grass if you put those on the house that gives it a lot of character and in a way it kinda makes it look like it's been there for a while and you know it has stuff growing on it I guess it's a personal thing you know some people might not like it because it doesn't look clean but I like it because, as I said, it brings a lot of character in. But make sure to add an event on it because if your character walks by it, you can actually walk on top of your roof. Unless if you want them to walk on top of your roof, that's a good way to give them the access of doing that. And then this is the final product that you get after doing, you know, 30, 40 minutes of work on a little house for a game that hopefully will take longer than 10 minutes to play. It's a little bit laggy but you get the idea and it looks pretty good too. 
So I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit on making the houses. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to post below. If not, please um, you know, s score me, tell me how I did. And if you rate me low, please tell me what I need to work on. I'd be much appreciated. So thank you for your time.